Okay, so this is a test question. Uh, let's just get to it. I wrote this one. Uh, so a converging lens, and you place an object 9 centimeters from the lens, it produces the real image at a distance of 13 centimeters from the lens on the other side. So let's just draw a picture because it's really going to help get stuff down. So let's say here's the focal length, and I don't know where it is actually, but I do know that it makes a real image on the other side. So in fact, in order to make a real image, you actually have to have the object Im image over here. So let's call this F, and then a lot of a lot of books call this uh, P, and then the image would be uh, Q. So if I draw a light ray like this, it's going to pass through the focal length. And if I pass, draw one through the center, it does this. So the light rays actually cross, so it'd be a real image. If you have the, uh, you can try putting the image right here, and it won't make a real image over there. Okay, so the real image of the, ob the things have to cross, and this is going to be Q. Now, I know the following. 1 over the focal length equals 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance. That has to be true. So, in this case, I know the object and the image distances. So, I know that I can, I can solve for the focal length. So, 1 over the focal length. I'll just, I'm going to do a little algebra here. Uh, I'm going to get a common denominator. So, it's going to be uh, Q over PQ plus P over PQ. So, it's going to be uh, Q plus P over PQ. And then, so the focal length is just going to be P, Q over Q plus P. I'm going to leave everything in centimeters because it doesn't matter. So then I have uh, 13 times 9 over 13 plus 9. So that's going to be, uh, let's just do that in the calculator. Um, you got to be careful right here. I think a lot of people would just take these fractions and put them in as fractions and then say that's, then add them and then take, you know, you got to be careful uh, doing that. Let me just tell you, okay? I like solving it this way. So I'm going to say 13, enter 9 times, and then 13 plus 9 is 22, right? So 22 divided by. So I get 5.32 centimeters. What would happen if you put the object at a distance of 3.5 centimeters. Okay, so let's just find the image distance. So this is A. So the image distance, I'm going to solve for uh, Q. So I'm going to say P equals 3.5 centimeters, and now F is this, so I know this too. So let's just solve for Q. 1 over Q is going to be 1 over F minus 1 over P. So again, I can get a common denominator, and this is going to be P minus F over P times F. So Q is going to be P F over P minus F. So it's going to be P is 3.5, F is 5.32, P is 3.5 minus 5.32. Now you see here, this is going to be a negative number. So we're going to get a negative image distance because that means it's going to be a virtual image. So I'm going to put this in. So I have 3.5, enter, 5.32 times, 3.5, enter, 5.32 minus, divided by. And I get an image distance of negative 10. 0.23 centimeters. So it's over the images that are going to be over here on this side of the lens, uh, and it's going to be uh, virtual. Got that. Where would you put the object so that the real image on the screen is at an image distance of 20 centimeters? So now I'm just going to say the and that's. So now I'm going to say image distance. It's real, so it's going to be a positive image distance on the other side at 20 centimeters. Yeah, and then so the focal length is the same, so I'm going to solve for the object distance. So using the same equation up here, 1 over P equals 1 over F minus 1 over Q. Get a common denominator, and I get Q minus F over F Q. So P equals F Q over Q minus F. So it's going to be... 5.32, the image distance was 20, 
all of that over 20 minus 5.32. So I get 5.32, 20 times, 20 enter, 5.32 minus divided by, and I get 7.25 centimeters. The end.